am moving every single goldfish I have into the 600. I know it's really loud. That's my second pump I'm using just to keep keep water flow really good and oxygen really good. I am just super upset because I lost one of the fish that Arlene gave me. And that's one of the big single tails that's probably 10, 15, 20 years old. I have been doing scrapes and everything came up negative. I thought I had cleared the flukes again. Um, but I was still seeing excessive slime coat, as I've said a couple times. But, like I said, could never find anything on the scrapes. Well, when I came down and found the fish had passed, I immediately did some scrapes on it, and I found I still have costia. And the problem with costia is it's really prone to recontamination because it can you scoop a fish up that's got costia and if it's slime coat and costia gets on the net it will dry and sift and then when you get it wet again it can reinfect because it'll unsift so it's really prone to reinfestation that is what i had in the the last arandas i got from coast gem was costia and i didn't catch it because it's so hard to see it is so teeny tiny and unless you have a fish that's really infested or an area that's really infested like an ulcer that you can scrape it's hard to see them so yes that fish definitely was swimming with costia so i know i have costia and that requires some super extreme measures so every single goldfish I own is going in here. Um, I do not think any of my guppies are contaminated because I keep everything separate. But I'm going to treat them all, which it's with formalin and that's really harsh. Might lose some guppies and shrimp. Um, but like I said, desperate times call for desperate measures. These guys, I'm going to do... I already did two formalin treatments on everybody and then I just said screw it I'm moving everybody into this tub I'm gonna um, probably just move all the other 300s out my hopes is is at the end of the summer when I know for sure the single tails are clean they can all go into the pond we're gonna dig and then the goldfish can move back into the fish room so everybody's gonna go in here I'm gonna I'm gonna multi-treat and then like I said everything in the fish room is broke down gonna be bleached all my nuts are gonna be bleached all my hoses are gonna be bleached everything even the lids the, the whole you know the pump hoses the sponge filters everything I'm probably gonna even have to scrap all of my plants that I have not sure on that the bonus side is Costia they say will only live for 24 hours without a host. So uh, I could maybe put my plants out in a tub, but again, I have so many snails and I don't know if the snails are a contaminant. So I've got a lot of, a lot to do yet. This isn't even all the fish. I still got like three more tubs to put in here. And the other thing that sucks is that means that there's going to be an out, a lot of out competition for the younger ones for food. But if I'm ever going to kick this, then it's got to happen.